I'm standing here what is in basically Radcliffe's playroom and you see that it's very bare in here. That's because I, I moved this crate out of here. He sleeps in a different part of the house now. And of course my voice is very echoey because there's just not a lot in this room. There's this chair that he does love to jump on, this old chair that he loves to jump on and scratch at and tug and pull at with his mouth and all that. So that chair is in pretty bad condition, but really it was in bad condition even before I got Radcliffe. That's why I moved it over here, but yeah, he, he loves to jump and play around on that chair for some reason. And there were other toys in this room. I moved them out because he just didn't have an interest in them. The only toy that really seems to keep his attention right now is this ball that lights up and I do you know use that to play around with him and he'll play with it by himself sometimes but I do have to kind of stick near him when he's playing with it so then he doesn't chew through it and get to the electronic part but I was at Family Dollar earlier today and I decided to pick up two new toys for him I got one here something else that <coughs> squeaks and that's probably going to drive me crazy in no time, but knowing Radcliffe, he'll probably get his teeth through it eventually, and then it probably won't squeak anymore. That's what happened to his little toy pig. I mean, he, he stopped that from squeaking pretty quickly. And this is, let me get the label up here. This one is specifically made for dogs, and it says promotes exercise. So hopefully he'll like this one, and I do like that funny face on there. And then I got him another one. I thought it might be cool to get him something furry. And this is actually meant, I mean, it has a cat on there, but I don't think that really matters much. It's like a little ferret. Not quite so cute to me, but, you know, I just want some things that will actually encourage him to move around and have some fun in this room. So I'm going to open these toys up and then I'm going to bring Radcliffe in and see if he actually pays these any attention at all. I know how Radcliffe is, more than likely he'll probably be more focused on me than the toys, but hopefully I'll get an idea if he likes these or not. So here are the three toys on the floor. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, since I really want to see if he likes the new ones, I'm going to actually move the one that I, I know he's already a fan of out of the way. I'll go ahead and get this one out of the way here. and. Yes, there is an old piano in this room. It was here when I moved in. It was actually out originally in the hallway, but I went ahead and moved it in this room. I really don't know the story behind it. I never asked my landlord about it. You see, it's, it's definitely beat up. A lot of the keys messed up and stuff, but it does help to give my home more of that horror movie vibe, so I guess that's cool. <laughs> it, you know, as a matter of fact, since I just mentioned horror movies, do you want to play a game? I want you to take a guess right now in the comments before you move on or anything. I want you to take a guess which one of these toys do you think Radcliffe is going to go to first? Will it be the ferret or will it be, let's just call it the squeak toy? I really don't know what <laughs> that, that toy is supposed to be. So the ferret or the squeak toy, take a guess. I'll give you a moment. Dun, 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 dun. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Take a moment, comment, which one of these toys do you think Radcliffe is going to go to first? Okay, now let's bring him in and see what happens. You can see he's wired up. He's ready to get into his playroom. He knows this is his playroom. Hold on, boy. Oh, oh well. Hmm. I don't know, tough to call there, because he kind of looked at the ferret and went to, oh, he's trying to decide, oh, I'm not sure how to call that, people. He's saying he can't seem to make up his mind. If I had to call it, though, I think I'm going to say the ferret wins. This seems to be the one that's catching his attention more, and he did look at it first. But he does seem to like both of them, so that's good. So hopefully he won't tear these up in, in no time. Goodness, he is so wild. <laughs> you see, like I said, I don't film him a lot because it is so hard to keep the camera on him. Oh, there he goes doing his 
his layout stretch again. I, that is so weird to me. I don't know why he does that. You see, he jumped up for a second, but then got back down. Like I said, I've been trying to teach him not to do that. Because once I have him around my nieces and nephew, I don't want him jumping on them, scaring them. Don't tear it up. Don't, don't, don't tear it up. Yeah, ho hopefully you won't tear into that in no time. I will watch him with it. Because like I said, I know it's actually meant as a cat toy, so... I'm going to have to keep an eye on him. But yeah, this does seem to interest him more. And look at the ferret people. Look at Radcliffe, not my feet. <laughs> but anyway, I, I think this one wins out. Yeah, so he's got some new toys to play with. Something new to entertain him here. He keeps getting this stuff on his face. I have to keep watching him out, watching out for him there. But yeah, I'm going to let him have some playtime in his room. This is not the room he sleeps in, like I said before, but... I'm going to let him get some play time in and have some fun in here. And you all, thanks for watching this very quick dog vlog.